60 Minutes Overtime. Johnny Cash. Yeah. What was he like? He knew a lot. He was also a big reader and history buff. He knew a tremendous amount about music and was just an interesting, beautiful, quiet, shy person. What was it you thought you could do with Johnny Cash? It started more from a process perspective of been having success doing the things that I'm doing with these young artists. And I thought, okay, who's the best grown up artist I can think of who maybe isn't doing their best work or hasn't been doing their best work for a while? And the first person I thought of was Johnny Cash. I read at the time he was sort of performing in dinner theaters. The first time I got seen was at a dinner theater in, in Orange County. It just seemed like the world had passed him by and he believed the world had passed them by. What was the approach? How did you work together? I asked him to um, come to my house and just play me all of his favorite songs from, from the course of his life. Just to get an understanding of who he was, it was like a, a way to meet musically, um, not based on the music he made, but on what spoke to him. I mean, that's a beautiful way to meet somebody. It was incredible. It really connected us and it gave me a sense of him. And I learned so much because most of the songs he played me I'd never heard before. Ruben looked around for lyrics that would suit the man in black. He picked a Nine Inch Nails song called Hurt. Cash made it his own. Hurt became one of Johnny Cash's most popular songs, and over the course of a decade, they made seven albums together. Is it true you used to go to communion with him? We did communion every day. He talked about the healing benefits of communion, and I said, I've never done communion. Would you do communion with me? So he presided over communion with me. And then I said, what, let's do it every day. And then we did it every day that we were together. And then when he left town, we kept doing it over the phone. And then we did this probably, I want to say for at least the last six months of his life, maybe more. And then when he passed, I kept doing it. I could hear his voice. He was saying the words. And I kept doing it um, for as long as, as long as it was possible. 